Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, Leçon D. And in this lesson we'll continue with uh, les homophones because actually I was thinking about doing four videos uh, concerning this topic. So remember, when we're talking about les homophones, we're talking about all these words that we have in French that you will write differently but then pronounce the same way and of course the meanings uh, will be different. So that's the reason why it's quite important to take a few minutes to try to see them and try to avoid uh, any mistakes. Okay? All right, so we'll start now. And the first one is un conte. Un conte. And here you will have the translation. Un conte. So exactly the same pronunciation, but then of course the meaning is different. Un conte. Un coup. And then un coup. All right, so you can see that you get this final P here, but then you don't pronounce it. And last, un coup. Okay, remember, accent circumflex, you don't pronounce it. Final T, same thing, you don't pronounce it. Okay, so un coup, un coup, and then un coup, the same pronunciation. Une cour. And then we've got the adjective cour. And after that, un cour. And then un cour. All right, so you can see that here you get the feminine, une cour. Then you get the adjective cour, un cour, un cour. Un cuir. And the verb cuir. Okay, so un cuir and then cuir. Une date. Une date. So it's quite interesting because in English uh, it's written the same way. Okay, so in that case we're talking about the fruit. So une date. Okay, and here une date. So 31 janvier, for instance. Une date. Okay. Une eau. And then the adjective eau. Okay. Une eau. O, O. Une fin. And then, une fin. Okay, so phonetically the same. Un fil. Une fil. Okay, so don't... Try to, uh, well, don't mix it with uh, une fille, okay? Because you get the double L, but in that case you get only one. So, une fille, okay? Un fil, une fille. Les. Un lait. Okay, so the only difference is the final thing here. D, you don't pronounce it. T, you don't pronounce it. So, phonetically, you only have this lait. Une mère. Une mère. Un mère. All right, so mère, mère, mère. All right, in both cases. Here you've got the feminine form and then here it's masculine. Of course, it could be feminine as well because uh, mère can be ladies as well. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier, that's the channel. And then like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. And then more material can be found at the following address. Have a great day. Bye-bye.